what I say may not be very important, but I, I think what's going on uh, in this country and possibly beyond our borders is, is very important. Uh, you know, we see every day uh, the tea parties. Uh, uh, you look on the internet everywhere you go, you know, people are talking about uh, Peter Schiff, uh, you know, how he pretty well predicted what was going on with the economy and the housing market. Uh, you look at uh, this renewed interest in Ron Paul, what he has to say. Uh, we look at uh, the, how the news media covers the Tea Party events and, you know, we got an idiotic reporter from CNN that's got an agenda. She's scared to death. This is a bunch of crazy Republicans and out to hurt Obama. Uh, and on and on and on and on. And then you got Fox News over there thinking that this is, uh, uh, you know, a Republican thing. Other people. My take on it is a little different. Um, I think that uh, that what you're seeing is a is a resurgence of li uh, libertarianism, uh, and uh, and it, these are values that go back uh, to our founding fathers, and it's part of who we are as Americans, and we've gotten so far away from it that we have, uh, you know, I personally just thought that we'd lost it. And uh, seeing what's going on right now kind of has me excited. Because uh, I'm seeing people of all kinds of walks of life, uh, you know, I mean, just atheist, uh, Christians, born again Christians. Uh, People that talk to God every day, and people that, that and all types of different people, the wackos that want to live in the mountains by themselves, and uh, guys that want to just smoke a joint, and be left alone. There's a whole different coalition. A lot of people are just saying, "We want the government to leave us alone. We want to run our own lives." And suddenly we're getting back to being what Americans used to be. It was pretty common for us to be pretty tolerant of all kinds of people. That's sort of the genius of who we are, uh, of our society. You know, you got some wacko somewhere who, who's stupid enough to think that he can build a billion cars. And... I'll be damned, he does it. Um, it. Our society brings that out. And the, the tolerance that we talk about today is different from the tolerance that we have when we are all kind of united. In other words, when, when I can... can uh, I may be very against something that you do, and you may be very against things that I do the way I live, live my life, but when we have values, when we have this one shared value where we all know, we all know that if uh, I start controlling your life, you're going to turn around and try to control my life. That brings us together. And folks, I think that's what's going on today. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I, hey, I made mistakes. But I think what's going on today, and I think this is what's got the CNN pretty confused. Got Even got Fox News confused. Damn sure got MSNBC confused. Uh, they don't understand. This is not about Republicans, not about Democrats. It's not about socialists. It's not about communists. It's not about any of that. It's about people that are thinking, 
you know, they're beginning to listen to guys like Ron Paul. And you know what? He makes sense. And why not? Why shouldn't he make sense? That's what we all came from. That's how we got here. That's what the country was about. If you're a Republican, you know, you probably got caught up in in all these changes that took place, say, in the last 30, 40 years. I mean, do you remember that it, uh, when conservatives, you know, elected Ronald Reagan, conservative and libertarian were one and the same, and we didn't, and suddenly we got Christian coalitions, and then, then we've got people that want to control our lives in one way or another and they don't want the Democrats to, you know, they don't want big government, but it's really only if they're not in power. If they're in power, they want the same control over us as the next guy. And this talk about small government is just bullshit, really. And we, the people sit back, we know the difference. I mean, Ronald Reagan, when he spoke, even if you didn't agree with the guy, even if you didn't really like him, you respected him because you knew it was real. You knew that's what he thought. He was like a grandfatherly figure, and he would give us, uh, you know, his two cents worth, kind of like I'm doing. And but you'd listen to him because you knew that the guy was sincere. Um, if you listen to Ron Paul, you you know the guy's sincere. You know he believes in what he's talking about. Um, Republicans have had to compromise all kinds of things. You know, they, you know, on the one hand there's a libertarian side, and then the other there's, you know, people trying to regulate our lives. So this is some sort of a movement that's getting back and putting together what I think is the probably the same people that elected Ronald Reagan. Uh, they've always been there uh, and it's been fractured and it's coming back together it's it's part of who we are and we're just coming home and that's what's going on and and I'm seeing it everywhere look around the internet look around uh, the activity See if you don't agree. Thank you. That's my two cents worth.